Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see what George Yule tells in his book The Study of Language about the origins of language under the heading The Social Interaction Source or Yo He Ho Theory. In this uh, chapter 1, he discusses about the various sources from which human language would have formed or originated and under that the other subheading is social interaction source that is when people are living in a group they would have interacted with each other and that is how new words would have formed and a meaning would be associated with that word and that is also called as yo he ho theory because he says that when people are involved when a group of people are involved in any work which requires a physical effort then naturally they would have made some sounds to communicate with the others to tell what they want to be done or to express their uh, pain or uh, how the work should be done to explain that they would have used certain sounds and later on those sounds would have taken the form of words and a particular meaning would have been attached to those words uh, and he says that earlier uh, the words would have been in the form of hums or grunts or groans or curses when someone is making a mistake or hurting the other person and these words would have been formed when they were lifting a very heavy objects like a large bit of tree or a lifeless hairy mammoth and all those and he says that generally people would have developed this human language uh, in a social context that is when they had to communicate with the other person and uh, earlier people would have lived in groups and uh, why they lived in groups is to have a protection from attack and when they are living in groups naturally they have to communicate with each other and uh, initially that is our earlier ancestors would have used only grunts and curses to express their uh, feelings or to communicate with each other. So human sounds would have been produced and some meaning would have been attached to each sort of a sound and that would have helped them to interact with each other and uh, of course, this is also an important idea when it comes to say how humanly produced sounds were uh, originated and how it uh, led to the formation of a language. But it does not answer our questions regarding the origins of sound how it was produced. Where it is difficult to face uh, trace out the origin of each and every word. And at the same time, it should be also remembered that even apes and other primitive creatures these uh, creatures also lived in groups and they also used grunts and social calls to communicate but somehow they did not develop the capacity for speech and it was only human beings who developed the capacity to uh, communicate with each other using a language and this is what he says in this uh, subheading if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box it will be useful to others like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you